Hey everyone, welcome to this week's episode. We have just arrived into Malaysia, literally three miles away, and we are being greeted by this amazing sunset behind me. So beautiful. What a welcome into this brand new country. So excited to be somewhere new. We've just finished a 500 mile offshore passage. So we are going to go back in time very briefly to start this episode from this morning where we are on the home run to finishing up our offshore passage from Thailand to Malaysia across the Gulf of Thailand. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you like sailing content, then make sure you subscribe to our channel. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get on with this week's episode. I'm Teresa, this is Nick, and this is Ruby Rose 2, our floating home. Join us as we settle into life on board our brand new catamaran, documenting our adventures and never shying away from the reality of boat life. Subscribe to our channel and leave a comment because we love to hear from you and a big thanks to our community of patrons. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Day four, day four, morning four. It is 27 minutes past seven. I look like a sack of shit tied up the string, but hey, four days on passage, but what do you want? And the good news is the wind seems to have filled in a little bit. Um, I came on to watch at about 4 a.m. And we found that, yeah, the wind had picked up and we are now, we have between 16 and 20 months at 48 degrees off port, which means that we're going along at between seven and eight and a half knots. Engines off straight away. And now we're doing 7.8 knots, which is great. About two hours ago, um, hit 21, so just out of sense of caution because we are a long way offshore. We put a reef in, so we have a single reef in. And I'm always thinking about shaking it out, but I can take it out at any point. I'd rather just be safe and comfortable. And the other point is, it is more comfortable to leak down. And uh, my off watch is sleeping. So I shall let the off watch sleep. Sun's come up, starting to get that burning Asian kind of searing effect that we get from the sun. It is going to be a scorcher today, another one, which is nice. There's not a lot of shipping out here, but there's some really big ships heading off to the gas fields. Anyway, I'll be back later, so I hope you enjoyed this little update from day four. In last week's episode, if you didn't get a chance to watch it, um, first of all, I'll put a link in the description below. But if you don't have time to watch it, although I suggest you do because it was a good episode, we uh, set off from Pattaya and we had, a, I guess, what you would describe as a slow and slightly frustrating passage down towards Malaysia. We had very, very light winds and what winds there were, were on the nose. So we were motoring into it, very frustrating, but it's all good because we saw some dolphins and we had a little bird visitor and we just settled into life when we're offshore which is a different kind of pattern to you know obviously when we're at anchor or living on board but not actually on an offshore passage um, there's a different rhythm to it where we're on watch for three hours or so and then off watch and when we're off watch then we're mainly like sleeping or sometimes just reading or in, you know relaxing and uh, when we're on watch sometimes we're doing those things as well <laughs> but it's got a very specific rhythm to it so we're all now settled into a bit of a routine and uh, this is day four of our passage towards Malaysia finally the winds have swung around a little bit as I kept on reassuring Nick that they would eventually but it felt like I was getting everything wrong for a while there but anyway and we're getting about 15 16 17 knots at about 45 degrees um, so we are happily sailing along and the sea state is pretty comfortable everything's pretty comfortable the sun's out the sky's blue and River Rose 2 is just very very happily sailing along we are honing in honing in or homing in is it homing in or honing in Anyway, we are approaching Malaysia. Our port of entry is going to be somewhere called Terengganu, possibly pronounced Terengganu, I'm not sure. And it's a big port city uh, in the north of Malaysia on Malaysia's east coast. And we need to clear in there and possibly do some reprovisioning, 
get some Malaysian SIM cards so we have internet because we don't have Starlink and yeah just relax and rejuvenate and recuperate before continuing our journey south towards Singapore because ultimately what we want to do is get to Phuket because if you haven't already gotten up to speed we are on a bit of a mission to get to Phuket ASAP because we have a ship leaving Phuket in only a few weeks time so we've left it all very late and Ruby Rose 2 is going to be on that ship and we are going to get her shipped to the Mediterranean so very very exciting I wanna go this under I know we're going somewhere Into the danger zone It all points right to that I set myself aside Be the way on this track If you don't know Stop and make a change. I know we so quickly finally sailing. This night will be okay. Waking up to another day. So a quick midday and midday update. Yeah, meal times all over the place. To celebrate 467 miles and 40 to run, Teresa made some pen au chocolates. I didn't make them, I think it's pretty Yeah, obviously you're not making like French pastries from scratch. Um, but I said to her, I said, do you want to film it? She's like, she just looked at me, she gave me that look to say, no, I want to eat it. Anyway. I do want to eat. Well, I bought them a frozen from the supermarket on my little, my little shopping trip. And um, now we're going to try them. That's it. I, yeah, it's really hot. They're not ready. Oh. All right, I think it's time to get this fishing rod out, see what it can do. My hopes are not high because we have a very, very poor record when it comes to catching fish. But um, hey ho, let's give it a go. Ready? Just catching on the spinnaker halley. Can you just go forward and just um, loosen it? That's better. Wind dropped off. We're only doing about five and a half, six knots. <laughs> only six knots after doing like two days of four knots. And now we're doing more like eight knots. Eight knots? Happy days. Better? A bit more? A bit more. And this is what I was hoping for sailing the Gulf of Thailand. Nice beam, reach, 14, 15 knots, maybe not quite, 13 knots or so. Screech her up, bright blue skies, nice calm seas, perfect, perfect sailing conditions. Could not ask for anything more right now. I was hoping to have this for the last, not the last 500 miles, at least maybe the last 300, but that's okay, better late than never and it's a really great way to finish off our passage. Because for a while there, I was getting quite frustrated having to tack up to, all the way down to Malaysia. That would have been really annoying. Beautiful. I'm a very happy sailor right now.
I've just spotted land. We are 16 miles away and I can just make out the twin islands that we are going to be anchoring off tonight. We have a rope, unfortunately, caught around our prop. Um, that became evident last night. Overnight, we are motoring or motor sailing and suddenly felt these really big, loud, sudden vibrations. And uh, yeah, it's obvious that something was caught around the prop. So we haven't been able to dive underneath and, and cut it free for obvious reasons. We've been sailing and the sea state's not calm. So we're going to anchor overnight, probably get this just after dark. Um, and we'll clear the prop in the morning when we've got some light and then we'll crack on to Terengganu. We're not going to go ashore or anything. We haven't cleared into Malaysia yet, but we do want to get this prop clear ASAP. Because until we do, we can't use that engine. So, um, yeah, excited to see land after four days at sea. That's a really good feeling. And I mean, it's a bit of a race against the clock because it's dark in about two and a half hours and we've got 16 miles to go. And we've just lost the wind, so we're only doing five knots at the moment. So that's pushed our arrival time out a little bit. Let's hope the wind picks up again a little bit and we get in maybe just at dusk. It is 5.40 on Sunday. We set off at 9am on Thursday. We have done 507, 508 miles to an anchorage. Yeah, so um, we're going to just stop off here. There's a little anchorage. We'll anchor and then just get our heads down and get the, um, get the prop cleared. And then tomorrow we will head on to Turin Dunia. So yeah, it's been a uh, been arduous actually. I kind of think that there's been a uh, I think what day is it? Sunday. I think when we started that big hundred and sixty mile descent, when was it happened? Was that Friday? That was Friday, yeah. Friday there was a tough day. That was a f***ing low point. Seriously, I'm like it's hard the... to keep morale up when you're like making two knots towards your waypoint. Yeah, two knot VMG with six hundred, <laughs> five hundred something miles left to go. I'm like, Argh. I kept saying. The further south we get, the more the wind will bend around and we'll be like further around, hopefully. We did not. Uh, well, that's not true. Now we've got a wind angle of 50, so. Yeah, it did bend around eventually, but yeah. Anyway, that was tough, but look, you know, sight of land. Yeah, um, good feeling. And you know what, we had a really nice sea state, I would say about that. The yeah. sea state was really comfortable. Yeah, so it wasn't, um, you know, here's Malaysia. So uh, we are going to get ourselves straight and sit and then yeah, it'll be an interesting night trying to get to sleep without waking up every three hours. <laughs> you can shake my foot every three hours if you really want to. All right, All right everybody, well, I'm just going to show you Malaysia. There, Malaysia. Anything you want to say? I'm just glad that we got that out the way. That's going to be the longest passage we need to do for, well, until we get to Phuket. You know, we've broken the back of it. We've done, hopefully, like, well, we've certainly done the longest passage. So, you know, I'm feeling really it's good to get it, about that. It's good to get it under your belt, isn't it? Good to get it under your belt. And I was, I was feeling quite anxious about it, actually, because we haven't done a North Shore Passage, the two of us. Or, I mean, we did one overnight sail from Koh Samui back to Tyre. You know, I, I don't know. I just felt a little bit anxious about it, but it was, it was okay. Slow, go. but we got not too bad. Yeah. Well done. Well done, us. Well done, us. <laughs> All right. Welcome to Malaysia. But that was a lovely sunset. You can still see it behind me. We are three miles away from our anchorage and the sun has just gone down, which means that we'll be getting there, I think, just as the last rays of light leave the sky, which is, you know, it is what it is. That's okay. I'm glad that we got here in daylight. Very glad. And now we just need to anchor up, hopefully without any shenanigans, as Nick would say. And uh, yeah, settle in for the night. And then in the morning, we're going to crack on to Terengganu and get ourselves checked in and get our tanks refueled 
and that's going to be a bit of a mission I think because there's no fuel dock we have to get everything by jerry cans in our dinghy oh my god look at that sky I didn't realize what was happening behind me <laughs> that is spectacular where's Nick you watching the sunset have I seen the sunset Nice welcome to Malaysia, eh? Thank you.